In this video, we are going to start another kind of overloading that is operator overloading. As in the operator overloading, we will define a particular operator, maybe any arithmetic or comparison operator for our own defined data types such as classes. So for, let's take an example that I have created a class called length and I want to compare two length objects whether which one is greater or I want to find the difference between two lengths or I want to add the two lengths. So in these requirements what I'll have to do? I will have to use the predefined operators like less than, greater than or plus minus. But these operators doesn't know like how to work with these user defined data types. So we will have to tell them in the concept of operator overloading. Let's do it practically now. In this example, I have created a user defined data type called length inside which I have a couple of data members called feet and inch. And two constructor for initializing them. One is the default constructor which will initialize them with the zero. And second one is the parameterized constructor in which you can initialize it whatever you will be passing at the time of initializing of a class or instantiating of a class. And in the main method you can see I have taken two objects like called len1, len2 in which I have assigned 2 feet 8 inches, 4 feet 5 inches and a couple of console.write line which will print the output. So let's execute it now and you can see everything is going good. So let's start doing some operations like for example if I want to add these two lens so what I'll do I will say add len3 is equal to len1 plus len2. Since when we add two integers, we get an integer in output. When we concatenate two strings, we get strings in the output. Similarly, when you will add two lengths, you will get a length in the output. So I'm assigning it to len3, which is of length type. And you can see, like here, I'm getting an error. If I will put the mouse over it, you can see, like operator plus cannot be applied to operands of type length and length. Since length is a user defined data type and plus is a predefined operator and plus operator is not programmed ever for this length type of data. So that is why for our own custom user defined classes we will have to program the operators by our own and that is what we call the operator overloading. So right here inside what I will do, I will do the definition of the plus operator for this length data type. As you can see in this definition, I am defining the operator plus which will be applied on the couple of operand both of type length and in the result it will return the length type as well. I have make it static because this operator is getting defined for a particular class called length not for a particular instance only. So it has to be static and it is public so that you can use it even outside the class and outside this project as well. We will discuss these access modifier in our later videos but now let's focus on the definition like here you can see it's a very straightforward code I have taken another object called L3 I will add both the feet will assign into feet I will add both the inches and will assign to inches as here you can see if the inches is greater than 12, I will make an increment in the feet and I will decrease the inches by 12. And finally, when the addition of two lengths is done, I will return this resultant object called L3 and that will be assigned to this length 3. So when I will print this total and I will do it like length 3 dot get length and let me execute and here you can see its total length 7 feet 1 inch that is the total of these two lengths so this is how you can define any operator for doing this task but when it's about the comparison operator make sure you are defining the matching operators as well like now as you can see here like I have defined the operator greater than this greater than will also compare two lengths L1, L, L2 and in the resulting it will return a boolean. So if L1 is greater I will return a true otherwise a false. So you can see even the feet is greater it's true if inch is greater it's true otherwise I will return false. 
but if I say len1 is greater than len2, that also means that len2 is smaller than len1. So while defining this greater than, I'll also have to define its complementary operator that is less than operator. And you can see the definition is quite similar. I just replace this greater than with the smaller than operator and the logic is quite same. So now let me put a code here in the main method like if len1 is greater than len2 so it's a simple code if len1 is greater than len2 then len1 is greater else len1 is not greater so in this scenario obviously I will get the message len1 is not greater and as it is working so this is how you can plan your operators to be overloaded whenever you are defining your own custom types